Hello, everyone. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Sam, and I'm Angeline. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about strangers. We're not talking to strangers. We will be talking about strangers. <laughs> a stranger is a person you do not know. Now, when I was young, I was taught not to speak to strangers,、mm-hmm. which I'm sure your parents taught yes, you to. Your yes. Your teachers, everybody around you told you not to talk to strangers. Then, as you got older, you realize that talking to strangers is actually inevitable. In fact, your livelihood might depend on it. For example, at my first job, I was required to approach customers, which are basically strangers, right,、uh-huh. <laughs> to offer assistance. How do you feel about talking to strangers, Sam?、Um, I really don't like talking to strangers,、mm-hmm. even on the phone. So yeah, yeah. I I prefer like writing a mail to the customer service and shop online to avoid talking to like the extra staff. Okay, <laughs> so you prefer not to talk to strangers.、Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, yeah. Not that I'm afraid of talking to strangers,、mm-hmm. but but no, in general,、yeah. you don't like to talk to strangers.、Yeah. Um, is that because you don't like to make small talk? Because I feel like that's also something that happens when you talk to a stranger. You have to yeah, make small have, talk, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so what is small talk? Well, small talk is like you know talking about the weather or talking about. I don't know what what do people usually talk about. <laughs> That's what like, I used、uh, to do when I was、uh, a cashier. Your, <laughs> <laughs> I used like, to be about like your outfits, maybe. Oh like, yeah, yeah, your the、outfit. way you look. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when I was a cashier, I would always you know greet the customers, be like, "Hi, how are you doing? Is it still raining outside? Is it still guess, sunny、yes. outside? That kind yeah, of thing. That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that small talk. So、I、just think, yeah. Yeah, I, I really passed that phase in my life, you know, because when I was maybe like in college、mm. or like. Like you said, like work as a cashier. I、mm-hmm. used to work at a, like a restaurant or store.、Right. Yeah, at that time, or maybe like when I'm like at the bar,、mm-hmm. I would probably talk to strangers. Yeah, like, small talk, like you say, like、oh, I really like your shoes. Yeah, or, yeah. Like, Where are you from? Yeah, that kind yeah. Of thing. Okay. Well, for today's writing exercise, we are going to write an essay about a stranger from my daily life. So let's get started by looking at a writing prompt. 嗯哼，好，今天呢，这个我们在刚才讲说很不喜欢跟陌生人讲话，<笑>但是呢，今天的这篇文章你就要想一想，这个你要来跟这个陌生人讲话了。他说呢，人的一生呢会遇到形形色色的人，但你不一定呢有机会和他们交谈和认识他们。请写一篇英文作文，描述一位你生活中常常遇到却没有深入认识的人。第一段呢，请仔细描述我这个人的这个外表和言行举止。第二段呢，要请你来说明呢，为什么你会注意到他？那文长呢？ Okay, so our writing prompt says you will meet all kinds of people in your life, but you may not always get the opportunity to speak to them or get to know them. For this writing exercise, you'll write an essay about a person you often see but don't know very well. In the first paragraph, you'll describe the person like their appearance and their personality. In the second paragraph, you'll explain what stood out about that person that made you notice him or her. The essay should be at least 120 words. Okay, so if I had to write about a stranger that I often see but don't know well, I think the first thing that comes to mind would be in my building,、mm-hmm. or maybe restaurants and convenience stores that I often frequent.、Mm-hmm. What about you, Sam? What type of stranger would you write about? Um, I, I would probably go for the same thing, like especially the ones in convenience stores. I mean, you see them every day. You feel like you know、mm-hmm. them.、Mm-hmm. They even gave me a nickname. Like oh, really? A, a Americano guy, like Da Bing Mei 的先生 because <laughs> I always order the same thing. However, we know nothing about each other.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know nothing about her, but she knows. Like I'm getting Americano, <laughs> so I think that's the thing we're going to talk about today, right? Yes, exactly. Th- that kind of stranger.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> That kind of stranger, so stranger, not like a complete stranger, that、yeah. a person that you just met. Maybe it could be a person that you just met. But in our writing examples, it looks like we're going to be talking about somebody that we see quite often.、Mm-hmm. Um, but like, like Sam said, don't you don't know anything about this person? Okay, so hopefully you guys have someone in mind that you can write about. It's time to think about what approach we're going to take with this essay. Now, as our title suggests, we are writing a narrative. Now, narratives are the most widely used style of writing, and it's often used to describe an experience or event, an object or a person. Now, for the purposes of this writing exercise, you'll be writing about a person, a stranger from my or your daily life.、Mm-hmm. 
。好，首先呢，我们今天要来描述一个陌生人啊、哦，你要描述他的长相，描述他有什么特色吸引到你。所以呢，顾名思义呢，我们今天就是要写一篇叙述文，要来叙述一个人，叙述一样东西了。大考的作文题目当中呢，也非常常出现，可能是要你描述这个，比方说一个经验或是一个事件，像是这个，哎，你有没有曾经有过迷路的经验啦？这个是如何发生？你最后学到了什么？这样子的考题，或是呢，他可能会请你这个描述物品。像是呃，你收过最难忘的礼物这样子的题目，那也有可能呢是要描述人物等等，什么东西都有可能出现在我们的这个叙述文的考题里面。那今天呢，我们这个这个题目呢，就是要来描述人物了，描述他的特色，描述他的个性。So as always, your essay should follow the same structure, right? It should have an introduction, body, and a conclusion. Now, in your introduction, you're going to present the purpose of your essay. We'll also have your thesis statement, which is the sentence or two that explains what the article is going to be about. Now, the writing prompt actually specifies what exactly you'll be writing in the narrative. So you have to describe the person, right?、Mm -hmm. You're basically going to use words to paint a picture of this person for your audience. What does this person look like? What is your impression of this person? Does this person look friendly, approachable? Does this person look stern or mean? In the second paragraph, you're going to talk about what drew you to this person. Now, what made you notice him or her?、Um, you might include a story or describe a specific event that was especially memorable for you. 嗯哼，好的，中文呢，我们写作要这个起承转合。那英文作文当然也是一样了，它就需要这个引言 introduction， 然后呢，再来是接着这个 body 文章主体。那最后记得要给它下一个结论，一个 conclusion。那今天这篇叙述文呢，也不例外了。首先，在这个 introduction 引言的部分呢，首先呢，马上就要说明你写这篇文章的动机，为什么写，你今天要讲什么。马上呢，就要点出你的主旨句哦，让读者呢知道你写这篇文章是为什么。一篇文章来说呢，你可以这个直接说明你要描述的对象是谁。比方说，一开头就说这个，哎，是楼下的管理员啦。然后呢，你接着就可以来简单说明你对这个人的看法，或是有什么印象。比方说呢，哎，他总是这个笑笑的跟我打招呼哦。但我们不熟，那他大概多高，头发怎么样，脸怎么样，几岁等等、嗯，大概第一段落呢，我们就可以这样下手了。那在这个 body， 也就是文章主体的部分呢，我们就需要。叙述很多相关的细节啊 ，supporting details， 我们要这些细节来支撑我们的主题。所以呢，细节一定要跟这个主题有关系。比方说，我今天要讲这个大楼管理员，你呢不会忽然讲说，哎，我们大楼一楼的大厅呢，这个装潢细节是什么风格、哦，灯光是怎么样，地板是什么材质等等。哎，如果是跟这个管理员有关系，那你可以讲；但是如果说哎不太相干的，那就太啰嗦，读者呢会这个呃不飒飒了。那刚才你觉得应老师呢提到一个很好的一点呢，你可以想。好像说我们在写这篇文章呢，其实就好像画一个图一样，你呢就是要画一张这个管理员的图，你呢会画下他的头发，画下他的眼睛，画下他的这个每一条皱纹。那呢你在这个文章叙述里面的时候，应该也就要把这些细节呢都点出来。Okay, and in the conclusion, you'll sum up everything you've been talking about and explain the significance of of it. If you're struggling to come up with a conclusion, read through your intro and your body and ask yourself, "So what? What message are you trying to convey?" You can even talk about how this person has had an influence on you. 好的，那呢，刚刚我们已经讲说这个第一段描述这个人呢，那接下来呢，我们就可以刚刚也有提到说，在第二段落呢，我们可以讲一些什么特别的事件，或是呢有没有一些什么特征让你呢特别注意到他。那最后呢，我们记得就要下一个结论了。嗯、那在结论这边呢，文章的结论 conclusion 呢，我们可以呢再一次简单的这个强调这个人和这个我们主题的关系，比方说他对你有什么影响啦，或者是我为什么注意到他等等哦，我们可以这个呼应第一段呢，让这个文章。更加完整。那呢，知道我们这个文章架构之后呢，马上就要进入写作了。那在进入写作之前呢，我们可以先补充一些用来形容人的形容词给大家。那大家这个描述呢，更加精准，更加生动了。首先呢，如果我们要形容他的外形，形容他的身形的话，比方说像现在很流行这个去健身房哦，你就会怎么样 ？muscular，muscular muscular 就是这个肌肉发达的样子。它跟这个 muscle 肌肉这个字很像，所以大家应该很好联想啊。还是说呢，它是这个 chubby chubby， 就是哎，看起来好像比较圆润一点，比较有一点这个比较丰满一点，<笑>或者是呢比较瘦的，我们可以用这些形容词，像是 slender slender 是形容苗条的，或者是呢 lean lean 这个字就是精瘦的，好像都是瘦肉，比方说哎很长，每天早上都会去慢跑的那种人的样子，或者是呢这个发文字 petite petite 就是表示娇小的 ，OK， 比方说身高可能比方说155公分左右这样子的女孩子，可能你会说她是娇小的。
。那是什么样的发型哦？除了这个呃 long、short 长发、短发之外呢，你可以说它是这个 curly。curly 就是卷的，或是呢 dyed 染色过的头发，或是呢这个 parted。part 这个字就是部分哦，所以 parted 就是表示分边的。那或是呢，它有这个绑马尾啦 ，ponytailed， 或是呢现在很男生很流行这种梳油头哦，这种 o l u b a k u 全部往后梳的，我们就会说 slicked。Back， 嗯哼，那当然呢，不能只看外在，形容个性如何呢？你有一些字可以用了，比方说像是这个 amiable、friendly、和蔼可亲的，或者这个 charismatic， 充满个人魅力的，还是呢，他是看起来这个很不好亲近、脾气暴躁的，我们就可以说他 grumpy。Okay? grumpy 很多字哦，大家可以这个好好的来运用一下，在今天的文章里面来练习一下。Yes， those are very good adjectives to describe a person. So you guys want to make sure you take note of that and try to include it in your essay. So that That you can paint a good picture、yes. for your audience. Okay, so now that we know more or less how we're going to write this narrative paper, it's time to put our outline together. Now, the outline will help us organize our ideas into a logical order. It will also help us identify where gaps in your thinking may exist and whether you have sufficient evidence to support each of your points. Let's take a look at our sample outline provided in the magazine. The writer begins the essay with a setting. Most mornings, I walk to school along Heping East Road. Then the writer gives us additional information. I always stop at a shop for onion buns. My favorite part of this shop is the clerk. She has thick black hair and wears a mask. Her eyes are dark brown and always look happy. Hmm. This author sounds a bit creepy. Is he or she a stalker? <laughs> <laughs> 好，马上呢，我们今天这个文章呢，看一下我们范例文章的这个大纲了。那第一段呢，一开头呢，他马上就说呢，这个主角是谁哦？他马上就说，哎，这个地点在哪里呢？他说，大部分的这个早上的时候呢，我去学校的时候都会经过这个呃和平东路、哦。那经过这个和平东路的时候呢，他先讲说他会做什么事情。他说呢，他每次都会停在店里。为什么停在这个店里呢 ？OK, stop at the shop for OK. 为了这个 onion buns, onion buns 就是洋葱面包。那 buns 这个字，平常我们可能讲面包，讲说这个 bread 或是 toast 吐司。那 buns 就是这种小小的一个一个圆圆的这种面包，我们还讲 buns。那他说呢，为什么会藏在这家店呢？就是因为这个 clerk clerk 就是这个店员了。那呢，他就可以开始马上的来形容哦 ，clerk 这个店员有什么特征呢？他有这个黑色，而且是很浓密的头发。然后呢，他戴着这个口罩。OK， 然后呢，他。眼睛看起来这个、呃、好像很开心的样子，那所以呢，第一段呢就是在描述他的特征。那第二段呢，按照我们的这个提示呢，他应该就会讲说，这个作者跟这个主角呢，他们之间的互动哦，为什么作者会特别注意到他喽 ？That's right. The second topic sentence says, "It's a shame that I don't know her name." And then the writer explains what is most admirable about this clerk. Okay, so what is it that this writer likes about this clerk? I mean, every day this writer goes. Stop. Always stops at that shop for onion buns, but、mm. not really because of the onion buns. I think it's more because of the clerk. Yes. So it says she greets everyone in a friendly way, and then there's no time to make conversation. So it sounds like the writer might have tried、mm-hmm. to make conversation or wanted to make conversation, but there was really no time for that. And then the writer says she knows my order by heart. Those are three good reasons for why this clerk could be, you know. Somebody that you would want to see every day、mm. in the morning, especially. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's very nice to see someone like this. Friendly, a friendly、yeah. person in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. and she she knows. His or her orders by heart,、mm-hmm, so、mm-hmm. that that's nice. He he or she doesn't have to make an order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then in the conclusion, the writer gives reason for why this stranger left an impression.、Mm-hmm. It says it makes me feel special. So what makes me feel special is actually the fact that she knows my order by heart. Hmm. 好，所以呢，我们第二段落他就是在讲说这个为什么这个这个女主角呢会吸引到作者的注意哦。他就讲说呢，因为呢，她总是跟这个每一个人呢打招呼，而且是 in a A friendly way, 用一种很友善的方式哦，所以是很让人觉得这个很很温馨、很舒服的。但是他说，呃，很可惜的呢 ，there's no time， 没有时间呢来跟这个店员对话哦。但是呢，他怎么样呢？他知道 she knows my order。
by heart， 他呢总是记得我想要点什么东西，嗯、所以呢最后就下了一个结论说这样子的举动呢让我觉得很特别哦，让我觉得我是特别的，我跟他好像有什么样的这个情感连接，所以让这个作者很喜欢去这个店，而且特别注意到他。那以上呢这样子就是我们这个范例文章的这个呃大纲了。再次提醒大家，为什么一定写作之前要写大纲呢？因为写大纲事实上。看似多此一举，但是它其实可以帮你省下很多时间哦。因为在大纲的时候呢，你就可以看到你的段落、你的架构是不是完整、是不是平衡哦。你可以知道说，哎，哪里呢东西太少了，需要多加一点细节，多加一点句子来描述它，或者是哪里太多了，需要删除。你就可以知道说，哎，你的这个文章是有按照这个我们的提示来走。如果你一开始就直接开始写了，那写到一半发现说，哎，这个写太长了，或者写不对了，你要回头再改，其实浪费更多时间了。嗯、所以呢，提醒大家，一定呢，在这个写作之前呢，我们建议是大家一定要先写一个 outline， 要一个大纲，你的写作会更顺利喽。That's right. Okay, so before we read through the base example, we're going to take a quick break. So don't go anywhere. 好，所以呢，看到这个片语哦 ，shame shame 这个字呢，就是这羞羞脸哦，或者是觉得很遗憾。所以呢，我们说 it's a shame， 或者 what a shame。OK， 这个片语就表示是真可惜啊，很遗憾的意思哦。比方说像是这个呃，最近很多活动嘛，比方说像是演唱会啦、展览都被取消了。It's a shame that the event was cancelled。真是很遗憾啊，很可惜啊，这个活动呢被取消了。Mm -hmm. Now, knowing a customer's order by heart means you remember or memorize the customer's order.、Mm -hmm. The customer can say, "I'll have the same or the usual," and the clerk will know just what the customer is talking about.、Mm -hmm. You know, I actually used to frequent this noodle stall.、Um, I would order zhajiangmian,、uh, yes, <laughs> but I would want them to add a bit of soup. 
and garnish the noodles with chives instead of green onions. Mm-hmm. I know it sounds like I'm like such a difficult customer, but <laughs> <laughs> but I only asked this when um, I was like the only customer there. So mm-hmm. I just asked her, could you add it? And she uh, offered as well. Now, after making this request like once or twice, the boss knew exactly what I wanted and prepared my noodles the exact same way every time. Now, it definitely made me feel special that she remembered my order. 嗯哼，好，所以呢，我们说这个记得呢 ，by heart， OK， 他总是这个记得这个作者他的 order， 他喜欢的东西。那比方说像这 a n g e l i n 老师就讲到说，他去这个面店呢，他总是很复杂的这个要求，但是呢，只是说，哎，老板就知道说他喜欢的是什么。所以像这样子贴心的举动，确实是会让人觉得这个呃自己很特别哦。This actually bothers me sometimes.、Mm, okay. I appreciate they, they remember me and I do feel special, but that's Let's say I normally have tempeh and soy、mm-hmm. milk. Yet today I want to have some lo po gao.、Mm-hmm. When I arrive at the shop, um, he ordered like tempeh for me.、Mm-hmm. He was like, "Ah,、oh, okay, so tempeh for him." <laughs> yeah, and and I was like, um, okay, um, I don't want to refuse his nice gesture. So、now. you just have to eat tempeh instead of the lo po gao. Yeah, unfortunately, all the time.、Yeah. Oh no! Now I have to eat tempeh only. <laughs> <laughs> Does this still happen when you go there? Does this person still、yeah. order for you? He's like、um, soy milk, damn thing. Yeah, I guess so, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess this this doesn't really work if you go to a restaurant or a shop that serves a lot of different ah、uh, yes food, yes,、yeah. and maybe you know it depends on your mood what you feel like eating. But it definitely works when you serve only one thing. And that that noodle stall that I went to, I. Only ate zhajiangmian. They did have other stuff, but that was the only thing I ever tried、mm-hmm. um, from their stall. Yeah, that's that's something that happens with me a lot. Like I go to a store、mm-hmm. and I eat just that particular thing on the menu because、okay. I'm so scared that if、try、I deviate or <laughs> yeah, I'll try other things and it's not good. Because that's usually the case. I feel like most <laughs> small eateries they're really only good for one. Yeah, like one one really particular thing, item,、yes. right? Yeah. Anyways, we are gonna now take some time to read through our advanced sample. Advanced sample. In my daily life, there are lots of people I encounter often, but I have not had the chance to really get acquainted with. Of these folks, the one I'm most curious about is the plump, cheerful woman running the restaurant on the first floor of my apartment building. She's usually wearing a bright red T-shirt and an equally bright smile. I often see her scrubbing the place during the day or cooking late at night for her regulars. On weekend mornings, I sometimes catch snatches of 1970s mando pop filtering through the door of the building, and I'll know she's there, humming to herself and getting ready to open for business. Though all we typically do is say hello as I leave and return home each day, this isn't to say we've never interacted on any other level. There was one occasion where I forgot my front door key. While doing some errands, and to my surprise, she had a spare set of keys in case any residents of my building needed help. She earned my gratitude that day. Sometime soon, I think I'd like to have a meal at her restaurant. Given the aromas that come out of the place each day, I'm sure it'd be delightful, and also a great opportunity to finally get to know this person who makes up a small part of my everyday life. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised、mm-hmm. that this writer has never. Eaten at this <laughs> restaurant before. <laughs> it's downstairs. I know it's so convenient. It's like, yeah, it's just downstairs. I mean, there must be a, a time where you just don't feel like cooking, or you don't feel like ordering out, or you're too lazy to go get takeout. How is it that you've never tried the noodles downstairs before? <laughs> okay, so a stranger is someone you do not know, right?、Mm-hmm. But what do you call a person that you kind of know? You know, like you know their name, their age, maybe what class they are in, but you wouldn't say you know them on a personal level.、Mm-hmm. Well, we call these people acquaintances. So, like the introduction of this writing sample, we come across a lot of people that we might not be acquainted with, which means you haven't met them formally and you do not know each other in a personal or social way.、Mm-hmm. 这边呢，我们今天讲的 stranger， stranger 呢就是陌生人哦，就是呢，这个你可能根本不知道他是谁，不知道名字，你根本不知道他是打哪来的。但是呢，有没有那种
大家一定都有，一定都有，不可能没有。就是呢，那种你知道他叫什么？<笑>你知道呢？他是几班的？你知道他是哪个部门的？他是谁的谁？但是呢，你从来没有跟他讲过话。嗯，那呢这种英文呢，我们就会说 acquaintance。OK， acquaintance 就是呃，你你知道他，但是你不是真的认识他的这种状况，我们就用这个单词 acquaintance。嗯哼 ，it could just be like a hi bye friend too. You know,、uh, like、okay. hi, you see them in the hallway and bye when you <laughs> leave. Um, maybe you also make small talk with his acquaintance, but it never goes past. Past anything else, <laughs> nothing personal.、Talk. Yeah. Okay. So if we say someone is a regular, that means he or she is a regular customer. Now, regulars frequent this establishment. That's an example we can say.、Mm-hmm. A regulars frequent this establishment. Is there a short and sweet way to say this in Mandarin? Um. I mean, it's it's called 常客 or 老顾客、okay. but I'm not sure if there's a sweet way to say、mm-hmm. it. <laughs> okay, regular, regular 这个字就是呃这个平常固定的、哦，比方说这个呃每每个礼拜都会演一次的这种节目，它可能就是 regular。所以呢 ，regular 指这个顾客的话呢，它就是呃常客或者老顾客哦，就是一直会来的。那千万不要说什么 old customer <laughs>。Okay, 这个没有任何意义哦。<laughs> Old customer, you're saying you're talking about their age, maybe.、Yeah. <laughs> We could say a good customer, good customer from many, many years ago. Ah,、oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so based on the writer's description, we can tell this woman is a hard worker. Okay, it sounds like they serve dinner and supper since she works late into the night, but she can always be seen in the day preparing the store. She also sounds like a very friendly and happy woman, as she can be heard humming to herself. People in bad moods won't likely be humming, humming, humming. Okay, humming 这个字哦，就是哼唱的意思。比方说呢，我自己哎上班的时候，有时候我也会不小心就唱出歌来。<笑>但是你不是很认真哦，放感情的把歌词都唱出来，你应该只是这样嗯嗯嗯把它哼出来。那通常如果你心情很差、很暴躁，大概就不会唱出歌了。所以呢，我们可以借由这样的小动作呢，来影响到哎作者呢是要表达说，哎这个老板娘应该是很和善的。OK， 看起来是很愉快的。嗯哼。And it's always a pleasant feeling when a stranger helps out another stranger, or when a stranger eventually becomes your friend, right? I actually find it harder to make friends when you get older. Yes. <laughs>、um, I just feel like everybody kind of has their、um, group of friends, and that's already been established, like during university and、mm-hmm. maybe in your early twenties. Yes. And then after that, it's like it's hard for you to join that group, or you know, it's hard for you. To even become close with another person, because that person already has a whole bunch of close friends. Yeah, that, that's really true.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's through fate that a stranger can actually become your friend.、Mm, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully he or she is not trying to sell you something. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I always get scared of like people who approach me. Yeah, and it's like, what is your motive? Are you trying to sell me some life insurance, some health insurance, some、yeah. some beauty product? I、uh, yeah. I can't stand people who are in. MLM, multi-level marketing. Do you、uh, know、yes. what that is? Yes, yes, yes,、yeah. yes. Yeah. Those are the worst type of people to be friends with. <laughs> I'm sorry for those people who are in MLM, but、um, yeah, no, I don't like people. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we've come to the end of our episode. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Angeline. This is Sam. Goodbye. Bye.